Complimentary breakfast. Jacaranda FM. No, no, Lena's bears for and like I say, it's my been my lifelong dream that you interview me, and it's the only way we can get this right if I bring you into our studio. Okay. So I'm going to play your bed, and then you can. Inter- would you like to interview? Please, please interview me. Okay, <laughs> I will. Oh my goodness. Good morning and welcome to Jacaranda FM with me, Nolene Maolo Nasango. And I have the pleasure of introducing to you the man of the moment, the man who hosts the complimentary breakfast on Jacaranda. His name is Rian von Hirden. Good, good. Good, good morning, Nolene. I was about to say, say good morning. Good how morning. are you doing this morning? <laughs> no, I'm all right. So how does it feel to be interviewed by Nolene? It's very, um, what's the word? <laughs> it's very... Overwhelming. Uh, uh, overwhelming. Overwhelming. Sorry. So, so Rian, who who are you? So you study. You've got an LLB. Yeah. In uh, 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 law, law. Uh, you can't get an LLB in anything else. No, can you? just okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have an LLB. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a jack of all trades. So you have an LLB. Yeah. You are a master at radio. You've been <gasps> to so many Thank radio you, stations mm. um, and fired from two. Yeah, uh, you are a comedian. Uh, you think so? Uh, uh, uh. Well, I, I would like I would like to ask you about the comedian thing, because someone told me that every time you've you've done a couple of one man shows, yeah. right? And you are so controversial that people walk out. That's true. What have you said that is that you regret now? Because you could have had those people coming back to your second show. Now here's the thing, uh, you know, uh, with this these one man shows that I did, I did about six of them, one a year. And when I did it for the first time, the kind of comedy that I did was very new to people. You know, especially in the Afrikaans community, we're used to people telling a story, mm-hmm. long story, mm-hmm. and then with a weak punchline. Mm-hmm. So we're more storytellers in the Afrikaans community. And the, this was more punchlines. Mm-hmm. And really hardcore using the language the way it was intended to use. You know, when, like for instance, when the ox wagons would leave the, 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 the mountain back in the day and fall off the side, some language would be used. And that is the language that I used in the show. And that offended people. But oh. I'm not, I have no regrets about anything that I said I've, uh, on, on, on a stage. Yeah. yeah. No regrets at okay. all. At so all. of all your careers, um, the, let's start with the, with the law one. Yeah. Did you ever practice? I practiced as a, well, I was a clerk for two and a half years. And the day I was admitted, I got an offer to go into radio. So as an official attorney, I never practiced. Would you be, if you look back now, would you be a Nell or a Rue? Ooh, that's a fantastic question. I would be a Nell. Definitely. Is it because, is it, why? You know him very mm, well, wifey. Definitely, because he'll stand up for the underdog. Now, donkey moms, mm. that's nice. Are, are you that kind of person who always stands up for the underdog? Um, I think I try to, I attempt to. My sense of who the underdog is, mm. it might be different to your sense of who the underdog is. So who would you describe as the underdog? In what scenario? In every scenario. In a social scenario. Let's just take anything that comes to your mind. Because obviously uh, yeah. underdogs would be, there'd be so many scenarios all over the place yeah. and so many um, things that are happening. So it's very difficult to, to pick one. But I'm asking you to, to just think about it and think about one. I would say people whose voices were silent or silenced and are still silenced and do like? not have the opportunity to say what is really on their mind. And, and, and But I would you not say because we're in a democracy um, that does not uh, hold true anymore? Unfortunately, not everyone has that opportunity, you know, because we still come from, an, uh, from a time when you were not allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> you know, so people are still stuck in that rut. Mm-hmm. So... I don't think enough, and that's why I did the stage show. It's not. I don't think enough people embrace the concept of freedom of speech enough. Mm-hmm. That you you can say what you really think, and you mm-hmm. can say it on an official platform. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, I would give a voice to that person. Okay. Who just cannot cross that line of really saying what they think. Okay. Now we're getting very serious. So let's 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 change tack completely because usually I've got forty five minutes uh, or to an <laughs> yeah. hour to interview someone. So I'm trying to cram everything in. No, Lina is by us to look. So you what the answer. Hi, I'm Nolin Maolana Sango. I'm the host of Three Talk at four p.m. And today I'm interviewing Rian. Why do you call it the um, what do you call your Con- uh, continent- continent- complimentary <laughs> breakfast? I because almost said po- the continental <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> well, you can call it that yeah. <laughs> if you want. I think if you if you think about it as what you get on the show 
is all for free, and people uh, would Especially confuse Especially the it. advice. Yeah, people would confuse <laughs> it with with being a, a show full of compliments. That's not what what I'm about. You know, I'm not going to give you a compliment for no reason. Okay. I'm not going to go out and say, "Oh, I should give." Oh, someone please a compliment give me a compliment. Today. I really think you look fantastic this you do. morning. For this time of the morning, and we have had, had a lot of guests this time of the morning. Do you know how long? And I must say. This is, I, I must like you very much because I would <laughs> never get up at quarter to five in the morning. It's hectic. And, and I would never. It, it's just not something that I do. Do you need to go to an ad I break? I need to go to an ad okay. break. <laughs> you, you can see she, she, she comes from radio. Yeah. Compliment. Your complimentary breakfast. Jacaranda FM.